Okay, today I'm going to be shining the world's brightest flashlight on the world's blackest black. So we're going to be seeing if we can get any light to reflect off of it at all, and we're going to be testing how hot it heats up due to the absorption of the visible light. Okay, so I have here a paint called Black 2.0, and this is touted as the world's blackest paint available on the market. So it's comparable to Vanta Black if you've ever heard of it. And let me show you what it does to things. It's pretty amazing. So for example, here's a ping pong ball that I painted with black 2.0. So it looks almost like a black hole. You can't see any of the curvature of the ball at all. It looks like it's a flat circle when really it's a ball. You can even paint very shiny things with it and it becomes like a black hole in it. So it's really fun paint to play with. You can make things like this, make yourself a black hole if you want. So Vanta Black can absorb 99.965% of visible light. And Black 2.0 is similar to Vanta Black, but I couldn't get any real value for how much light it absorbs. But it's the blackest black available on the market, so this is what I'm gonna use today. So my experiment today is seeing if we can get a reflection using the brightest light shined against the blackest black. Will the dark side or the light side win? Let's see. Okay, so the light I've chosen to use today to shine on the blackest black is the Emolent DX80. So this is touted as the brightest flashlight on the market. It can put out a whopping 32,000 lumens. It's amazing. So to give you an idea of how bright 32,000 lumens is, the sun puts out around 10,000 lumens per square foot. So that means that when you shine this flashlight on the ground, it's three times stronger than the sunlight on the ground next to it. So for example, let me show you the settings on here. So this is a normal flashlight range, 120 lumen. The next setting up on it, 500 lumen. You can see it getting a little brighter in here. Next step up, 1500 lumen. Next step up, 5,000 lumen. The next one up from there, 13,000 lumen. And then the next step up from there goes back down to 120 lumen. Unless you want to do the mega boost power, you double click it twice and it jumps to 32,000 lumen. And it can stay like that for a few minutes, but it starts to get really hot in your hands. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, here's 120 lumen. Let's jump up to 32,000 lumen. Three, two, one. Holy cow. I can't even look at the wall where it's shining. It's amazing. Let's see what this looks like outside. Okay, so this is 500 lumens in my backyard. Let's see what 32,000 lumens look like. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is a flashlight. It's like a spotlight. So crazy. So lighting is hard with the camera because the camera auto corrects for the lighting and so it's hard to tell when something gets brighter. It's literally like I'm holding a spotlight in my hand. <laughs> so cool. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm predicting that the 32,000 lumens are just going to totally overpower the black 2.0 and you'll get a strong reflection on it because this is really bright. And I want to test how hot the black 2.0 heats up when I shine this light on it. Because when I just put my hand in front of the light when it's shining 32,000 lumens, it heats my hand up to almost burning. And my hand isn't even absorbing all of the different wavelengths of light. But the black 2.0 should absorb most of the visible light and a lot of the infrared light. So it should get a lot hotter than just my hand in front of it. So let's check it out. Let's see how much the black 2.0 can absorb of the 32,000 lumens coming into it. So if this color gets any lighter whatsoever, we'll be able to know that's a reflection on there. So now let's do 32,000 lumens. Three, two, one. <laughs> so look, you can totally see the flashlight on there.
If this black 2.0 were really absorbing all of the light, you wouldn't be able to see a shadow on there at all, but you can totally see my hand shadow on it. So this means the 32,000 lumen flashlight overpowers the black 2.0. So now let's check how much the black 2.0 is heating up due to the flashlight on it. Okay, so before I shine the flashlight, it's about 20.1 degrees C, 20 degrees Celsius. So now we'll shine the flashlight on it and see what it jumps up to. Whoa, 24, 30, 33, 40, whoa, that's heating up fast. Look, you can just see the glowing red circle on there. So know that this flashlight is an LED flashlight and not an incandescent bulb. So it's putting out mostly just visible light and the heat is coming from the black absorbing the visible light and turning it into infrared or, or heat. So it looks like it gets to around, it's going to about 55 degrees Celsius. Now let's compare that to what I do if I shine it on the white wall. So a white wall gets to around 30 degrees Celsius, but it definitely doesn't jump up as fast. So this material and Vanta Black, which absorbs 99.9% .9 of visible light, can be modeled as almost a perfect black body. And a black body is something that absorbs all types of radiation. And now for the interesting part. If I were to ask you whether you think that this material or the sun is a better black body, so does this material or the sun absorb light easier? Well, the answer is that the sun is actually a better black body than this material. The sun is almost a perfect black body, meaning because it has no solid surface, it's made of gas or plasma, it absorbs almost all radiation that strikes it. So it's weird to think that the sun is actually a better absorber of light than this dark black material here. The only reason the sun is bright though is because it's hot, so it also emits radiation really well. And it's actually very well correlated. The better something absorbs radiation, the better it is at emitting radiation. So I'd like to thank banggood.com for sending me this awesome Immolent DX80 flashlight. I'll put a link in my description where you can purchase it on their site and also some other flash deals that you can look into on their website. And I also wanted to let you know because I've had a lot of inquiries of people asking me how can they support my channel. They want me to keep making videos and they want to contribute to that. And so they're asking how they can support my channel. So I decided to create a Patreon account. And Patreon is a place where you can monetarily support my videos if you would like. So if you do decide to support me on Patreon, one of the perks that you'll get access to is the patrons only feed. And that's where periodically I'll post behind the scenes of my latest video, or I'll even ask you guys questions or your advice on some specific video that I'm planning on filming and gives you a little more visibility on what I'm thinking and what I'm doing if you're interested in that. So I'll put a link in my description also of my Patreon account. Go check it out if you'd like. And the money that gets contributed on Patreon will go into bettering my channel and making it even more awesome than it is now. And if you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and leave me any comments or questions you have or any suggestions in the comments section and I'll try to get to them and I'll see you next time.